Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this, we are going to take the elementary Z transforms which are important and which will be helpful while solving the problems in the uh, inverse Z transform as well as in the Z transform. So, let us start with the elementary Z transform. So, the very first one in the elementary Z transform is Z transform of 1. So what is Z transform of 1? Z transform of 1 is Z upon Z minus 1. Simple. Now the second one. Second one is Z transform of minus 1. Z transform of minus 1 to the power n. So this would be Z upon Z plus a. Okay. Now the third one. Third one is Z transform of A to the power N. So just looking at this, you can able to write if whether it is Z transform of 1 to the power N or 1, it is like this. So now when you compare with this, you can easily write down the Z transform of A to the power N. So what it should be? Z upon Z minus A. Simple and likewise, what would be the next Z transform? Z transform of minus A to the power N. So, you should compare with this. Have your own ideas to remember uh, these things. Okay, so what it going to be? This is going to be Z upon Z plus A. It should be 1. <coughs> okay. Are these uh, Z transform clear to you? If these are clear to you, we can move ahead. Okay? Yeah. So, next Z transform is Z transform of N. Which we have used while solving the problems also. So, what is Z transform of N? Z transform of N is Z upon Z minus 1 whole square. Is it? Provided mod of z should be greater than 1. When we talk about mod of z, I am talking about the absolute value of this z complex number. Okay. And then we have z transform of n square. So what is z transform of n square? It is z square plus z upon z minus 1 whole cube. Again, mod of z should be greater than 1. Here you can add mod of z should be greater than a. Here you can add mod of z should be greater than 1. Clear? So if this set of z, transformers, uh, z transforms are clear to you, I can move ahead. So the next z transform is of n uh, 7 number. Z transform of n a to the power n minus 1 and the next one is z transform of a to the power n upon factorial n. <coughs> so z transform of n into a to the power n minus 1 is same as z upon z minus a whole square. Okay, and Z transform of A to the power N upon factorial N is A to the power A by Z. Are these Z transform clear to you? If yes, then we can move ahead by taking Z transform of sine and cosine. Okay, so let us take now Z transform of sin n theta and then number 10 z transform of cos n theta. So what is z transform of sin n theta? It is z sin theta upon z square minus 2 z cos theta plus 1 and likewise you can write you can remember like it is z square minus z cos theta upon z square minus 2z cos theta sine 
hyperbolic cosine and hyperbolic sine so that would be my 11 number that is z transform of sine h of n theta and the next one is z transform of cosine hyperbolic n theta so i want you to pause the video for a minute and try to write down z transform of sine hyperbolic and cos hyperbolic of n theta and then resume the video i hope you might have uh, written this uh, z transform of sine hyperbolic and cosine hyperbolic just write down these formulas the only thing you just need to change is instead of sine theta it would be sine hyperbolic and instead of cos it would be cos hyperbolic so it should be z sine h of theta upon z square minus 2z cos h of theta plus 1 and z square minus z cos h of theta upon z square minus 2z cos h of theta plus 1. Simple. Likewise, you can write down the z transform of a to the power n sine n theta and a to the power n cos n theta. So the next one is, okay, let me take its uh, uh, special part, z transform of cos n pi by 2 and z transform of sin n pi by 2. So you have uh, z transform of sin n theta and z transform of cos n theta. So you can make use of this and write z transform of this. So cos n pi by 2. This is gone. This is gone. So this is z square upon z square plus 1 and what about sine z upon z square plus 1 simple now let us take other uh, z, uh, z transform of a to the power n cos n theta and z transform of a to the power n sine n theta so, who is going to tell me the z transform of a to the power n cos theta and a to the power n cos n theta is same as this. We just need to multiply the term of cos by the a. Okay, so it should be z square minus a z cos theta upon z square minus 2 a z cos theta plus a square. Likewise, you can write down the z transform of this. So, this is going to be, what is it? A z sin theta upon z square minus 2 a z cos theta plus a square. Simple. Now, with the help of this, try to get z transforms of this. So, what is it? z transform of uh, cos n pi by 2 so make use of this so this is going to be z square upon z square plus a square and this is this is going to be a z upon z square plus a square so these are 18 different uh, formulas now let me take some remaining ones now the next z transform is z transform of n plus 1 into a to the power n and after that we'll see what is z transform of n square into a to the power n okay so these are the next z transform so what is z transform of n plus 1 a to the power n so this is z square upon z minus a whole square and for uh, z transform of n square into a to the power n this is a z into z plus a upon z minus a whole cube where mod of z should be greater than a okay upon z minus a whole cube okay 
so these are the elementary z transform you should remember in order to do well in the unit of this z transform whether it is a inverse z transform or a z transform because its inverses are like this is the inverse of our z inverse of this is this okay removing the z operator so apart from this i am having two definitions that i want you to uh, remember because we are going to make use of this definition one is of a uh, z transform of unit step function we know that uh, u of n has value that is unit step function has value 1 and 0 right so it has value 1 for n greater than equal to 1 to greater than equal to 0 1 2 and so on 0 1 2 3 and so on and it has value 0 for n less than 0 that is what we have the unit step function okay and if you want to take z transform of u of n that is z transform of <coughs> unit uh, step function so it is like summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n into u of n into z to the power minus n but for n is equal to 0 to infinity we have u of n as 1 so this is same as summation n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 into z to the power minus n which is same as z transform of 1 and what is z transform of 1 z upon z minus 1 mod of z should be greater than 1 okay and here instead of we know that you can write it is it is defined and denoted by it is defined and denoted by this and z transform of this we can certainly talk about the inverse z transform right so what is inverse z transform therefore inverse z transform of the unit step function u of n sorry z transform of z upon z minus 1 is equal to u of n or or 1 okay now if you want to see it's a graphical uh, representation so we can have it so suppose this is a sequence uh, let me take this is to be 0 this is to be minus 1 minus 2 this is to be 1 and 2 and 3 and so on so as you can see for this 0 1 2 3 and so on we have value to be 1 so if you want to see it is like this So this is to be 2 okay and here we have values 0 so you can uh, visualize this uh, unit step function like this here okay now again we have one more uh, definition that is uh, the z transform of z transform of unit response function okay unit response function which we denoted by delta n okay direct delta function we also can call it so it is defined and denoted by it is defined and denoted by how we can define this uh, unit response or the direct delta problem 
that is defined by delta n is equal to 1 and 0 1 and 0 so 1 for 1 for n is equal to 0 and 0 for n not equal to 0 okay and uh, you can get the z transform of delta n what it should be it should be 1 okay is it okay z transform of delta n is 1 and z inverse of 1 is delta n clear and uh, you can also visualize this like you have uh, say you have a sequence say these are the values that we have 0 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 okay so this unit response function or the direct delta problem has value only at 0 and at every other point we have value to be 0 so you can vis visualize like this so the definition these two definitions z transform of unit state function and the unit response function along with the elementary z transforms are very important you should remember the way you can okay and uh, if you like this uh, tricks that i have given to you in uh, rem uh, remembering this z transform so you can follow this so it is up to you so this is what we have in this learning video so thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics thank you